In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to install this CloudBase 3 template, a free, easy to use, and responsive template developed by CloudAccess.net. In this tutorial, we'll start customizing this template. First, we'll return to the back end of the site and go to Extensions and open up our Template Manager. We'll click on the CloudBase 3 name in order to view all the different options available for this template. Under the Overview tab, you can read a list of key features of the template and you can also learn more about the Gantry framework. Before we explore the other tabs, you should know that you can rename a template in the Style Name field. I'll delete the word default here and I'll add the word custom so I know that I've customized this template. And to start customizing the template, I'll click on the Presets button in the upper right hand corner to select from one of the 15 color scheme presets that come with the CloudBase 3 template. I like the dark theme, so I'll select this and then I'll click on Save in the upper right hand corner. I'll receive a message that the template saved correctly and I'll return to the front end of the site and refresh the page to see the dark theme. This really only changes the background color of the template at this point, but if I return to the back end of the site and click on the Style tab, I can see that there are many more options for customizing the color scheme. In fact, if I scroll down, you can see that I have over 70 customizable color options for this template. The first thing that I want to pay attention to, though, is the logo, which is the first item under the Style tab. By default, I'm using the CloudBase 3 template logo, but if I click on Custom here, I can click on the Select button to upload an image from my computer. I'm redirected to this abbreviated view of my Media Manager. If I scroll down, I can see that there are already some images in my Joomla site. To upload an image from my computer, I can scroll to the bottom here and select Choose Files. I've already done some work gathering some imagery for this site, and I'll select the Art Gallery logo that I've already created. Once the file name appears next to Choose Files, click on Start Upload to upload that to your Media Manager. Next, scroll down and find the image, select it, and make sure that the Image URL field down below is filled in. Once it is, you can click on the Insert button to view a preview of your logo. Before we save our work to see our new logo, I'll scroll down so I can show you just how many color options there are. You have options for changing the color in the body, the header, the menu and drop down menus, the showcase, feature, footers, copyrights and more. To change a color, click on the color palette here and manually select a color or paste in a color number if you have one. You also have the ability to select from different background patterns for different areas of the template. I'm not going to select a background pattern just yet. Instead, I'll scroll back up to the top of the template and click on the Save button. Then, I'll return to the front end of the site and refresh the page so I can see my new Art Gallery logo that's added to the site. By adding the logo to the template, it will always appear at the top of each page and link back to the home page no matter where site visitors are in the site. If I return to the back end of the site, I'll scroll down a little bit and select the next tab, which is called Features. Options here include setting a date or a font for the entire site, but there's also a branding option, and you may have noticed that if we return to the front end of the site and scroll down to the very bottom of the page, that there's a Joomla hosting from cloudaccess.net branding at the bottom of the template. Simply turn branding to off here to remove that. I'll scroll back up to select Save, but I'll also click on the Presets button here to minimize my presets. I'll click on Save, return to the front end of the template and refresh the page, and I can see that the branding has been removed. Another exciting and very useful feature of this CloudBase 3 template is the ability to link the template and the Joomla site to Google Analytics, a tool that will track site visitors, page views, bounce rates, and much more. After registering the site with Google Analytics, paste in the UA tracking code into this field and enable the feature for it to work. The very last option underneath the Features tab is Social Icons. I'm going to paste in the CloudAccess.net, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube links in the respective fields here. If this feature is turned on, I can go ahead and save the template, and icons to each of these social networks will appear at the top of the template. Let's go ahead and click on Save and we'll return to the front end of the site and refresh the page. Notice the three icons in the upper right hand corner to the different social networks. 
Returning to the back end of our Joomla site, the next tab that we'll take a look at is the Menu tab. We're going to cover menus a little more thoroughly in a later tutorial, but notice here how underneath the Select a Menu option, our main menu is selected by default. The menu is also assigned to the navigation position. We'll explore menus a little bit more later. Clicking on the Layouts tab, I can see that I also have the ability to adjust module positions in different areas of the site. Because I don't have a lot of content developed in the site already, it wouldn't make sense to make adjustments at this point, but I'll return here later in the tutorial series. I'll click on the Advanced tab to view advanced features like Layout Mode, Load Transition, Main Body, Right to Left Support, and more. I can also click on the Assignments tab to view which menu items this template is assigned to. Remember, by default, this template is already assigned to every menu item in the site. To exit the template, click on Save and Close and you'll be returned to the Template Manager. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to install an extension so we can start developing content for our Joomla site.